All right, Hawk fans, let's take care of a few business notes real quick if you're coming out to the game. First of all, get on our website or check with the university about what you can and cannot take into the stadium. I know purses can only be a certain size, no umbrellas, no coolers. There are rules like that to provide safety for the fans. Also, in terms of the game day experience, uh, athletic director Jeff Long told me they're going to spice up things on the Jumbotron, the big board. They're also going to work with uh, the music in terms of what you hear over the PA speakers and what is being played down on the field and get those more in sync. And then finally, they're working with AT&T to improve cell phone service here at Razorback Stadium. Of course, when you get over 70,000 in here, it's hard to use your phone. Well, they're working with AT&T AT &T on that to improve your cell phone service. So make sure and see if they've made any progress uh, on that front. But let's take a break from all the modern technology of cell phone service and, and jumbotrons and talk about the history of hog football. If you don't like reading books, how about an e-book? Uh, our Chris Fry interviewed the author of an e-book detailing the legacy of Razorback football. Let's have a listen to that. All right, thanks a lot, AP. A special treat for you on today. We've got Glenn Short here. He's an author and a Razorback alum. We're not going to disclose when you graduated, but he has a new book out. It's called Hit That Line, A Fan's Perspective of Razorback Football. An interesting read. Glenn, thank you for joining us. Uh, first of all, what was the inspiration for writing this book? Probably the uh, main inspiration is there's a lot of information right now out on current for each year of the current program, but to not lose the history and what really got the program to the state that it's in right now is one of the main reasons that I was interested in putting it together. Uh, the, uh, the main thing is, like I say, so that it doesn't get lost and people understand the foundation behind the program as it is. All right, Glenn, talk about some of the highlights of the book without going into too much detail. Okay. And how long uh, did it take you to actually write this book? Uh, putting the book together itself took uh, just a little over two years. Uh, the book itself goes into, it starts out with a discussion of all the coaches, their programs, uh, goes into some legends, talks about the voices of the Razorbacks and gives a history of the voices of the program, or a history of the program from the voices of the Razorbacks perspective, uh, talks about traditions of football and school program itself, and then goes into uh, several of the most memorable games. You're talking about 114 years of Razorback football, give or take a year. I hope I'm right with that. So with that said, you're talking about a lot of research. What went into that research? How helpful was the university? How much research did you do? Talk about that. I was helped uh, during the process by information that I was able to obtain from players, former players, and uh, about the program and some of the games that they actually participated in and uh, one of the key ones which was a key game that I feel like is important to the program was the 1969 shootout. Randy Pestle who happened to be a Longhorn who made the catch that disappointed the whole state, me included, uh, and led to their obtained national championship. I was able to visit with him and got a lot of inspiration inside into the game from him. Especially. You mentioned it on ebook. Um, tell uh, the viewers out there on how they can go about purchasing this book on ebook. Okay, for about the last two years, I've had a blog that goes out each month on Razorback football history. It's called hogtails.com. It's H A W G dash T A L E S dot com. And on that, it gives links to where you can actually get the book. You can go purchase that book, hit that line, a fan's perspective of Razorback football. Glenn Short is the author joining us. Glenn, thank you, and uh, good luck to you on the book. Thank you. All right. AP, back to you.